Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some more blue card one-shot Twisted Fate versus a Nico. It's going to be a laning phase that's going to be probably a bit miserable. Uh, Nico is one of the best, in my opinion, AP bully champions. Kind of like how Syndra was before she was reworked to be more of a scaling champion. So um, if she lands her Qs on me, ever lands a good snare... It, paired with a Jarvan who could always gank at any point, it's going to be a difficult one. Uh, but, of course, if the game goes long, we can scale, we can get Gathering Storm procs off, and Twist of Fate, believe it or not, even if you fall behind early on, can be get items pretty easily, because as long as you're CSing, it's not that bad. There might be things that make the game somewhat impossible, like, if Darius loses to this guy, this guy buys Hold Breaker that's like an unfarmable lane but like if trinomir is behind we could probably just farm forever so i think that the best thing you can do by the way ever is a lot of times if you just start shoving in with perma red cards on the wave uh that helps out immensely with just making it so the uh, enemy sometimes has to use their abilities to shove out rather than use it on you Sometimes they will use uh, their abilities to farm instead, so that's why I'm just like red carding over and over again. Is it really doing that much? Eh. But also, I mean, there's a chance that uh, if I wasn't doing this, I'd be getting harassed more because I would have to CS underneath tower. That wasn't too bad of a trade considering it's Nico. Man, these minions won't re-aggro onto mine, so I'm taking huge damages here. Got that. Where was Jarvan? Jarvan already used Flash? Okay. Nico missed everything. I can step up and grab that minion. She has uh, both of her potions. I use both of mine, but she didn't heal herself. Big blue card hit with stack deck. Big damage. She also walked in my wild cards too. Wow, that was a really far throw. Surprised that got me. Oh, she hit me. As ever, the snare is not going to last like forever. Oh, okay. Isn't she just dead? Wow, I got a solo kill early on. Sick. I was going to say, she's very low. So, like, she's kind of playing disrespectfully. The thing is that if you get stack deck, which is every single, like, set number of autos deals that bonus damage, it counts almost as if you're auto attacking them twice. Uh, and versus mage champions, if you sometimes dodge some of their abilities and you're getting off these double auto attacks, sometimes paired with a card, you, you can win. It's pretty uncommon, but it's definitely possible. Uh, I'm probably going to have to buy a potion. In fact, I'll buy two potions. Because I still think that is going to be a pretty painful laning phase. Even though we got an early game lead. We really like that though. Jarvan went top. Just deem at the caster minion so we can shove it out faster. Sometimes the cards might hit her as well for some damage. Got all of those. Occasionally blue card. She pink ward this? Okay, she didn't. Cool. It's not actually her. I'm going to count the minions. When I don't see her, that is. Don't get caught out by her. Ooh, nice little hit on her. Getting closer to 6. I'm just going to look at bot real fast. Oh, I can't even outrun her Q. Jeez. Um, she does have boots, huh? 
I'm gonna reach six on this next wave. I'm just paying attention to see if it's possible to like do it very quickly. I walked backwards and immediately sidestepped to dodge that. I'm not gonna leave like a cannon. It's gonna have to be wave shove and then go. Mm, they're kind of low, but I would have to do it on my own. I would have to go behind them and figure it out. So I guess I just won't. I might be able to solo kill her again. Maybe. Actually, she has enough uh, damage to maybe kill me here. She has flash too. Ooh, that was really close to me being hit. She just popped her biscuit, so she's healing. Dead. Let's just uh, have somebody farm that mid. If Trinimir ever goes to dive my teammate, we can always just go after Trin Burns ultimate. Oh god, the wave is still doomed. Really? We gotta fix it. Uh, this could be death for me. Potentially. Okay, cool. It's not. I was worried about a maybe Jarvan looping behind me because we haven't seen him in a long time. The plate, maybe because he'll be taken by Darius. The plate's right in front of you. Okay, you got it. Nice. Huge. Not bad. I'm going to buy an Amp Tome. This is going to go into that Lich Bane, so I'm just trying to get as much AP as possible because I want to be able to just one-shot the casters. The best point of playing TF isn't getting these early kills. The ultimate kill makes sense, but the Nico kill doesn't make sense. Um... The normal gameplay is just farm until you get to the point that you can just farm from far away. And you don't have to be very interactive with your lane at all. Because you just queue it. Which is also why you have the DMATs. So you can just press Q on back wave and just clear it all. And it doesn't really cost that much mana to do it either. See how she's trying to be interactive because her kit is a kit that is very good at poking and stuff like that. Just throw out random cards. You never know. She might go for this ward and get hit by it, so. Okay, cool. We see where she is. God, how do you dodge that? <laughs> I have it all shoved down. I don't think that we can catch her, bro. And also, if I step up for this and we're going to 2v2, what's going to happen is if Jarvan is here, I'll, I will die before you even get to me. So I'm not even going to bother going for it. If I know where Jarvan is, I might go, but since I don't know where Jarvan is... Okay, at least I stunned her for you. Good card. She still has Flash. If the cards land, she dies, but I'm going to die too. There's no way out. Was that worth it? Probably. I mean, it's good for me because I'm getting a lot of gold, but look at this. It's worth it for me, but this guy is really falling behind. We have magical footwear, so that's why I'm not buying boots. I can't buy it. I get it in five seconds, though. In fact, I, I'll just stay in base and buy level two boots. Level two boot purchase, kind of huge. <clears throat> Let me see where Gragas is. Yo. They should all die here. Also, Nico has a... Oh, wow. That Krag is ult. She has no flash, so... 
And the body slam backwards? Huge. She TB down to try to help. She has no ultimate because she used it mid, and it's a pretty long cooldown. Um, so made it even easier to fight. I don't think that I can honestly arrive there quickly, so I'm just not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna base instead. I don't really have much to purchase. I'll go like this for movement speed. I want to be fast. Being fast is great with TF, especially with boots and stuff. Uh, boots, ghost, movement speed. <clears throat> inside of team fights, if I pop ghost and I'm not stuck inside of Jarvan Cataclysm, I can like run in and out of the fights and gold card people. We're not gonna be doing blue cards early on because it's not gonna deal that much. It's very AP dependent. We don't have that much AP yet. I should be able to clear this since the wave is crashed. Okay, I am being roamed on. I am dead. For sure. There's really no way out. But they're going to use every single ultimate. So ult, ult, ult. Even though I was just dead from Jarvan ult. I'll lose my tower. This is why Jarvan is still one of the best junglers. He has crazy good CC, and also, if you press R on somebody that has no flash, you instantly win. So, there's no counterplay for me, besides just not being there. That's the only counterplay you got. <clears throat> they might be able to kill her. I'm gonna farm bot, I guess, because Kaisa's mid now. I could probably do it pretty easily. I don't think these guys are strong enough to like do any diving or anything like that. They don't even have good champions for it. Enchanters suck at dives. And Jin also is not good at diving. I mean, you guys are trying to come bot, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that we can catch these guys. If I, like, gold carded the Soraka, she would just still ran away. And even if I could even catch up, it's difficult because of her ability. Get the plate. Huge. Really, we're diving this? Are you guys sure? I like the pressure. The pressure feels good. I think the pressure is great. I have my ultimate, so I'm just going to continue farming this. Hit this a little bit. Soraka's back. Darius Trin traded. I have Ludens in base. If I'm in a 1v2 and pressuring, it's really good. You're not supposed to be able to pressure in a 1v2. So my mid tower is also probably being pressured because thankfully my bot lane, because they're so fed, there's no way Nico should be able to handle that and these guys can't handle me. They might have base now, so I'm going to go for a blue card on the uh, tower. The plates are gone, but now I'm just going to deal huge damage to it. Huge amount of gold for ourselves. Gigantic. Nico's getting mid tower. Why is this guy collapsing so hard for me? Okay, so we walked into a card. Big damage. <clears throat> I have my Ludens. I'm gonna go Fiendish Codex rather than Sheen because I'm just trying to make it so I have lower cooldown abilities that deal big damage rather than the Sheen itself. I like it more. We have no Dark Seal stacks. A little bit sad. Okay, that guy just got destroyed. I don't know how easy we can contest this dragon now. Okay, so she's carded. 
she's gone. That's a lot of first strike gold. It's number one. Hit the Nico one time. This is why Ghost is so OP. I'm gonna get hit. Gold card again. That guy's dead. Nobody else should die. We also stole the dragon, so extremely successful fight. Ghost is so nice in team fights. This guy has no um. No ultimate, so I'm not that scared of him. If if you are low HP versus a Jin, I do not recommend doing something like how I just did, because he'll just open up on you. I mean if I was fed, this would maybe be a kill, but I'm not. Like Lich Bane, gold card Q. Your Q deals a lot. Stack deck. So we'll base. I finish my Lich Bane. Did Jin see me so he's going to W me? No. <clears throat> now we go Death Cap and then the one-shotting can truly begin. It takes forever to kind of ramp it up. You need three core. Or 25 stack Magi's, which is not happening this game. But we also have the Infernal Dragon Soul, which helps out a lot too. Did I say Soul? Just Infernal Dragon. A little bit more AP. Huge. My cards being able to still like one shot back wave, but also just deal a huge amount to even the melees feels great. I want to port on them badly. Ooh, Jarvan's there. So she's dead. He's killing the back line. Gold card Q. The reason why I'm doing gold cards is because we don't need the damage yet, but they might just FF right now. That was a huge amount of uh, kills for us. Because I was able to get immediately onto their back line and just one-shot them. The thing is, uh, before you do the blue carding, gold card with stack deck, Lich Bean, and Q still hits so hard that you can probably one rotation kill. Technically still a one shot in league terms in my opinion. One shots don't necessarily mean you just one tap somebody because that's pretty unrealistic for a lot of champs. But like Lux killing you with a full combo is getting one shot by her. <clears throat> when Camille one shots you because she ultis you and hits you with a 1000 damage Q but it doesn't truly one shot you because it still takes four autos it's still considered a one shot. But the blue card TF is considered a true one-shot with one single thing. But nobody ever likes saying, like, one rotation. That just sounds weird. One-shotting sounds better. One more minute until Gathering Storm. My first strike has only generated me 400 gold, but... St oh my god, I almost ran into that. Ooh, huge hit onto her. Oh. oh my god, I almost died. That was really close. Uh, there's nobody down here, right? We see where Jarvan is. If uh, Soraka had ultimate and didn't press it, then I just won because of Soraka's mistake. I don't know if she had it or not. Shoving that out. I really don't want to rotate this. I think that they're going to FF very soon. We're winning s too hard. Oh, Kai'Sa died. I don't think she's worth a shutdown anymore. They already took it, though. So they didn't even get, like, a huge amount of gold. So it was still a net win for us. Soraka, unfortunately, is building some magic resist. Makes me sad. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to one-tap her. I guess the only person I'm going to be able to do it to is Jin. 
I need to uh just finish the death cap and we're good to go. Very close. She has Merc Dreads. <laughs> I kind of... <laughs> Maybe I can get her. She is really squishy with those Mercs. I think Nico is also uh, perma-shoving because of Tilt. So she might just... God, that damage is insane. Kill. We see where everybody is. I'm not going to be able to one-shot this game. They're going to FF. I know it. It's it's coming. With Trinimir also dying side lane, I, I think it's a hostage situation where like uh, somebody's purposely not FFing. I'm going to buy a blue pot because blue pot gives more AP than an amp tome. It's time. I just need to get flash. We'll kill Soraka. You know what? I'll just kill whoever is closest. It doesn't matter who I go for. I don't think we can do it to Nico because of uh, the Hextech belt. I just need to auto attack one thing to stack deck. We're at two. Now we're at three. I haven't popped my potion yet. I don't even want to hit the wave because it would proc my Ludens. Dude, I feel like they're all sitting in a base. Come out. No way that it would deal... I don't know if that would have done enough or not. I don't think that was a one-shot, right? Yeah, they all went AFK. Well, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed more of the blue card build um we didn't really get too many blue cards off this game because when we finally finish it they all gave up but uh yeah three four we got it somewhat quickly it was a 20 minute game so anyways thanks for watching guys on the blue card build a twist of fate um high elo people give up very quickly if your teammates are winning and fortunately for me i guess that's been happening all the time is that a good thing maybe not for content but for winning so yeah, did most damage, generated 500 gold. Uh, I have no idea how close it would have been bot side if Darius didn't hit the Nico. No idea, so I guess we will never know. Thanks for watching again. See you guys later. Bye.